Hi guys, this is a video tutorial for the vertebral column. The vertebral column is made up of three different parts. We got the cervical, cervical, which has seven um, vertebrae. Then we got the thoracic, thoracic, which has um, 12. And then we got the lumbar, lumbar, Vertebra, which has five and together they make up 24 vertebral um, bones fused together um, they're very similar in terms of the bony structure as we can um, see if I isolate one of them you can kind of learn the others just from learning this one just to start off we can talk about the vertebral, uh, vertebral body which is this structure here this is the body vertebral body moving down a bit you see this tail um, coming out of the structure this is the spinous process spinous process there are five process um, in total the next one to talk about is the transverse process transverse process Adjacent to those two, you'll see the inferior articular process and superior articular process. So, the top one, of course, this one, is the superior, superior articular process. And the lower one, of course is the inferior particular process so just to recap the structure here is the body of the vertebra this is the tail uh, well it's not the tail it looks like a tail but it is known as the spinous process this is known as the transverse process and we also talked about the superior articular process and inferior articular process now we can move to vertebral arch, which is this one. So vertebral arch, which is this guy here. It's made up of two different structures. This one and this one. Just looking at one half of the structure. This top one is known as the pedicles. Pedicles. And this lower one is known as the laminae. Lamine. So again, this is the vertebral arch. This is known as the pedicles, and this guy here is known as the lamine. Okay, so now we can uh, jump into the differences between the three different um, structures. Well, one thing to talk about before even um, moving to the um, different structures is the facets. We got two different facets. Um, if you recall. Uh, this top structure here was the transverse um, process and on the transverse process we got the transverse um, costal facet and also on the inferior articular process we got the inferior articular facet so it's again this is the inferior articular process so obviously the facet is called inferior articular facet and on top of the superior articular process, we got the superior articular facet. And this is where the ribs, um, the rib cage attaches to it. So if you recall from my, um, rib cage tutorial, there are 12 ribs and we have 12 thoracic vertebrae. So they all articulate with the, um, with the rib cage. I can go back and you guys can see that all the 12 um, thoracic vertebrae articulates with the rib cage and they all um, attach to each other. So now we can see the differences between each structures and I have this very nice picture here. Um, as uh, we kind of talked about the thoracic vertebrae which is 
you know, because of the few different structures. And lumbar um, vertebrae, it's very similar. It is the cervical vertebrae that it's a bit different. Um, there are two additional holes on, on top of the vertebral, um, vertebral um, foramen, which um, I forgot to mention, that that big hole in the middle is the vertebral, vertebral um, foramen. The ones next to it, are transverse on foramen for the cervical vertebra and we can actually see the model the 3d model if I um, isolate um, the thoracic one you don't see any transverse on foramen but if we go ahead and uh, isolate one of the cervical vertebrae you can see these two individual um, foramens these are the transverse foramens so we have those on top of the um, the vertebral foramen and one last thing I like to mention is the shape of the each um, vertebra so it's very um, easy to distinguish cervical vertebrae thanks to the small um, transverse foramens but the thoracic and lumbar they're a bit similar so it's kind of hard to um distinguish them but there are a few things that we can use first is the vertebral um frame and the big hole in the middle for the lumbar vertebrae it's a bit um uh, like a, tri a triangular shape but for th uh, thoracic it's kind of it's kind of a circular shape also the vertebral body which uh the middle the big junk in the uh in the um the middle that it's a bit uh, um similar to a heart and thoracic vertebrae but in lumbar vertebrae it's um, very similar to a kidney again um i can isolate the 3d model so we can um see the structure So it's um, very similar to a heart, I mean kind of similar to a heart. And it has a very circular um, vertebral foramen. But for the lumbar vertebrae, we can isolate one of them. It's more like a kidney, kidney shape. And it has this triangular vertebral foramen. Thank you.